Hey everybody, John here. Um, I wanted to do a quick video. It might be a little bit lengthy, but uh, um, DJI announced a firmware update for the DJI Power 1500. I have the Power 1000, worth its weight in gold. Um, so there's a firmware update, who knew? So like a fool last week, I sat here on my island trying to upgrade or update this thing. I kept getting at the six out of six um, you'll see the screen, six segments that it updates. I'd get to that final one and it'd say fail, fail, fail. I gave up. Um, after doing a little research, I found out that they don't tell you in the instructions and the video I watched doesn't tell you this needs to be plugged in. So what I'm saying is after you, um, you're going to download the software. Okay. So you, you go to your DJI, you get the DJI assistant. Um, it's going to go through all the, the motions here continue you agree with it one of the other tricky things in here that had me hung up was uh when you hit install it's, it's going to ask you for your password obviously you're going to put that in but when it installs it's going to go to the terminal your terminal is going to pop up if you're using a mac i only use apple products i don't use any windows okay so you're going to get this prompt okay this prompt right here um, it's not going to show you that your password's typing. What I do is I just put the bar over there and I hit the the space or the uh, the pad, and then you have to type in your password and hope you did it right. And when you have it in there, you hit enter. You'll get that. Okay, so that means it's completed. Um, why it does that, no clue. That's probably above my uh, pay grade, but it's going to keep installing. It takes it's registering the updated components. It takes about a good two minutes to get this put in. Um, so yeah, I sat here like a fool, kept deleting the software, putting new software in, going through all the motions again to get this thing, uh, firmware updated. Cause every time something comes out, like, you know, like I have the, uh, the Avada 2, I have the DJ Air 3S, um, I have the Neo, uh, I have 3T, the Mavic 3T. So every time something comes out and they announce firmware, I'm always like the first one to download it, test it out, make sure there's no bugs. Um, and usually uh, DJI is pretty good with that. I really never had a problem. I've been flying DJI drones for probably since 2015, 2016. I hold a part 107 license. Um, I have my own aerial photography business that I do on the side. Um, it's very, it's, it's, it's fun to do. And uh, I can't complain because it keeps me busy in the summertime on my days off. Um, so if it's something you want to get into, it's, it's, it's cool as hell. Okay, so we got through all this, you know, now you're going to hit the close. It's all in there. Going to move the package to trash. Actually, it's telling me it won't. So, okay. So with that being said, I'm going to open up the software. It actually stored in your launch pad, DJI Assistant software. At this point, you want to you wanna hit the, uh, you have to, it tells you in instructions, you want to hit the power and the AC. Hold them in simultaneously until it says load on the screen. Okay, when that comes up, plug this baby in. It won't do nothing. It won't revert back to its normal. I got it plugged in. Okay, I'm using my um, my MacBook Pro, USB C. Degree to all this, the terms, blah blah blah. Yeah, of course you're gonna. You're not gonna. When you plug in your USB C, you have two USB Cs. I don't know what the front of the 500 looks like, but you have a right and left. This one goes into, if you're facing it, the one to the left. Boom, plugs in, DJI Power 1000. Everything's gonna go accordingly. Well, of course I already have it installed, so I'm gonna hit refresh just for shits and giggles. Start update, boom. This is going to go about six, seven times. It's gonna update. Um, you'll see how it goes pretty quick, but you'll see where you'll see where, where I, it'll say six of six, but then it'll say ACDC obviously for your, your, your power. But, uh, after that, if you didn't have it plugged in, that's where you're going to get the fail. So we're going to go through all this and, um, obviously it shows it's done on a computer first. So you now three of six, hundred percent, it's working on four of six. That last one, the actually the one that failed to load each time, um, is kind of lengthy. So what I will do is, uh, while it's doing that, I'm going to speed up the video until the end to show that, you know, then we'll, we'll, you know, we get it back to normal and you'll see that this whole thing gets updated. Um, so it's fairly easy. 
like I said, you just go to DJI's website, find out their downloads, look for the Power 1000, download it, open it up. Remember that terminal is going to pop up? You're going to put the password of your computer in there, of your computer, not your DJI password, of your computer. Okay? Hit enter. It's not going to show you the prompt. You just got to hopefully it's in that right line. Hit enter. And then, so here's, here's where I'm talking about. Six of six, there's the ACDC. Clearly, they didn't tell you to plug it in. I probably should have took a hint. So it's going to upload, but it does it slowly. I never got this far when the fail happens. If you didn't have a plug in, you wouldn't get this far. So we're going to let this speed up and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, now you can see it got to 99. Took about maybe about close to five minutes. Once it does that, it just restarts and uh, you're back in your game here with the Power 1000. And your I'll firmware has been updated. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And um, hopefully this video helps people. You're not like a fool like I was sitting there trying to, to load it. And it kept failing. So guys, enjoy. And uh, until the next video, have a good day.